My name is Ricardo Weinhardt and I'm going to talk to you uh, today about starting a non-profit organization in South Africa. Uh, what are the legal issues to take into account when you start a non-profit organization? So, we have three options uh, to choose from when you start a non-profit organization in South Africa. Um, first one is a voluntary association. Now, this is the most popular uh, legal entity for uh, non-profit organizations. Um, I think bec it's because uh, most non-profit organizations are community-based organizations and the voluntary association is the uh, most easiest way to set up a, uh, a non-profit legal entity. So it's very popular. The um, uh, NPO director estimates that uh, over 90% of organizations on their database uh, are voluntary associations. It is established in terms of common law, uh, so in essence the, the decisions that um, the courts have made over time would govern the, uh, the, um, uh, the voluntary association. The founding document for the voluntary association is the constitution. So the constitution is in essence the agreement um, amongst the members of the organization and that document must set out certain clauses um, in order for the volunteer association to be registered uh, in terms of the Nonprofit Organizations Act or to apply for the uh, tax benefits. The governance structure of the volunteer association is very f flexible. Um, you could have a uh, volunteer association that has only got a governing board and no general members. Um, a lot of volunteer associations have got a governing board together with uh, general members. So that's in a, in a nutshell the um, volunteer association. The second option is the non-profit trust, um, which is established in terms of the Trust Property Control Act. The, um, you ca so you cannot set up a, uh, a trust without it being registered in terms of the Trust Property Control Act and the office that is uh, responsible for the oversight of trusts is uh, called the Master of the High Court. There's about 14 offices uh, um, in South Africa and the processing time uh, for registration depends on the particular on the particular office. Um, the founding document for the trust is a trust deed. Um, a lot of the information that you'll find in the trust deed is similar to that uh, that you'll find in the constitution, but there are some differences. Uh, for example, the the names of the trustees are usually um, captured in the uh, in the trust deed. And the trust deed is in, in essence uh, an agreement between the founder and the trustees. So the idea of a trustee of a trust is that you'll have a founder who would make a donation or a transfer of property to, uh, to the trust and the trustees would take responsibility um, to administer that donation and the trust assets uh, for a particular objective a public benefit objective for non-profit trusts or for a particular um, group of people uh, who are called the beneficiaries. So you have the founder, trustees and the beneficiaries. In terms of the governance structure, the board of trustees are responsible to govern the, uh, the trust and um, you can have a trust with members although it's not that uh, common usually a trust are set up with only uh, trustees or the board of trustees as the governing structure and um, the uh, third option is a non-profit company the non-profit company is um, incorporated in terms of the companies act um, and the oversight body is called the companies commission companies commission is based in pretoria so there's only one uh, central um, office uh, there are other offices uh, providing some assistance in, 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 in at provincial level. Um, the founding document for the uh, company is the memorandum of incorporation, and uh, you can set up a trust with a company, pardon, with or without members. So uh, the 
governing board called the board of directors uh, and you may have a company with or without members if you have members it, it can be uh, with voting rights or without voting rights and um, the Companies Act it's a fairly detailed piece of legislation compared to the uh, Trust Property Control Act uh, it's about uh, the Companies Act it's you know over 200 pages uh, plus you have the company's regulations uh, the Trust Property Control Act is um, less than 10 pages so in complexity the uh, company is, a, is, a, is more complex than the, uh, the rest of the two entities. So that's in a nutshell the three entities that, um, that you've got if you want to set up a, a, an organization locally um, in South Africa.